Hello, welcome to Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about a sample Azure Data Factory and ETL activities, interview questions and answers. What is Azure Data Factory? Data Factory is a fully managed cloud-based data integration ETL service that automates the movement and transformation of data. Like a factory that runs equipment to transform raw materials into finished goods, Azure Data Factory orchestrates existing services that collect raw data and transform it into ready-to-use information. Big Data requires service that can orchestrate and oper operationalize processes to refine these enormous stores of raw data into actionable business insights. Azure Data Factory is a managed cloud service that is built for these complex hybrid extract, transform, load, and ELT and data integration projects. It is the cloud-based ETL and data integration service that allows you to create data-driven workflows for orchestrating data movement and transforming data at scale. Using Azure Data Factory, we can create and schedule data-driven workflows that can ingest data from disparate data stores. We can build complex ETL processes that transform data visually with data flows or by using compute services such as Azure, HD Inside Hadoop, Azure Databricks, and Azure SQL Database. What are the storage types in Azure? The Azure Storage Platform is Microsoft's cloud storage solution for modern data storage scenarios. Core storage services offer a massively scalable object store for data objects, disk storage for Azure virtual machines, a file system service for the cloud, a messaging store for reliable messaging, and a NoSQL store. The Azure storage platform includes the following data services. Azure Blobs, Azure Files, Azure Queues, and Azure Tables. Let's talk about Azure Blobs. Azure Blobs is a massively scalable object store for text and binary data. It also includes support for big data analytics through Data Lake Storage Gen 2. What is Azure Files? Azure Files is managed file shares for cloud or on-premises deployments. What are Azure Queues? Azure queues a messaging store for reliable messaging between application components. And Azure tables a NoSQL store for schemaless storage of structured data. When to use a blob storage? If you need to provision a data store that will store but not query data, your cheapest option is to set up your storage account as a blob store. Blob storage works well with images and unstructured data, and it is the cheapest way to store data in Azure. Can you query data from blob storage? If we create a storage account as a blob store, we can't query data directly. To query it, either move the data to a store that supports queries, or set up the Azure storage account for a data lake storage account. What are rich cross-platform SDKs for advanced users? Data Factory V2 provides a rich set of SDKs that can be used to author, manage, and monitor pipelines by using your favorite IDE, including Python SDK, PowerShell, CLI, C Sharp SDK. Users can also use the documented REST APIs to interface with Data Factory V2. How to monitor? We can monitor our Data Factories via PowerShell, SDK, or the visual monitoring tools in the browser user interface. We can monitor and manage on demand, trigger based, and clock driven custom flows 
in an efficient and effective manner. We can cancel existing tasks and see failures at a glance and drill down to get detailed error message and debug the issues and all from a single pane of glass without con context switching or navigating back and forth between screens. What is the integration runtime? The integration runtime is the compute infrastructure that Azure Data Factory uses to provide the following data integration capabilities across various network environments. Data movement. For data movement, the integration runtime moves the data between the source and destination data stores while providing support for built-in connectors, format conversion, the column mapping, and performant and scalable data transfer. A dispatch activities. For transformation, the integration runtime provides capability to natively execute SSIs packages. Execute SSIs packages. The integration runtime natively executes SSIs packages in a managed Azure compute environment. The integration runtime also supports dispatching and monitoring transformation activities running on a variety of compute services such as Azure HD Insight, Azure Machine Learning, SQL Database, and SQL Server. We can deploy one or more instances of the integration runtime as required to move and transform data. The integration runtime can run on an Azure public network or on a private network. What are top level concepts of Azure Data Factory? Pipelines, data flows, activities, data sets, linked services, triggers, pipeline runs, parameters, control flows. Let's talk about each concept. What are pipelines? A data factory can have one or more pipelines. A pipeline is a logical grouping of activities to perform a unit of work. Together, the activities in a pipeline perform a task. For example, a pipeline can contain a group of activities that ingest data from an Azure blob and then run a high query on an Azure Insight cluster to partition the data. What are data flows? Data flows are objects that you build visually in data factory, which transform data at scale on backend spot services. We do not need to understand programming or spot internals. We can just design our data transformation intent using graphs or spreadsheets. What are activities? Activities represent a processing step in a pipeline. For example, we can use a copy activity to copy data from one data store to another data store. What are data sets? Data sets represent the data structures within the data stores which simply point to or reference the data we want to use in our activities as inputs or outputs. What are linked services? Linked services are much like connecting connection strings which define the connection information needed for data factory to connect to external resources. What are triggers? Triggers represent units of processing that determine when a pipeline execution is kicked off. There are different types of triggers for different types of events. Pipeline runs. A pipeline run is an instance of a pipeline execution. We usually instantiate a pipeline run by passing arguments to the parameters that are defined in the pipeline. We can pass the arguments manually or within the trigger definition. What are parameters? Parameters are key value pairs in a read-only configuration. We can define parameters in a pipeline and we pass the arguments for the defined parameters during execution from a run context. The run context is created by a trigger or a 
or from a pipeline that we execute manually. Activities within the pipeline consume the parameter values. Last one, what are control flows? Control flows orchestrate pipeline activities that include chaining activities in a sequence, branching parameters that you define at the pipeline level, and arguments that you pass as you invoke the pipeline on demand or from a trigger. What is Azure Data Lake Storage? Azure Data Lake Storage is a Hadoop compatible data repository that can store any size or type of data. This storage service is available as Generation 1 or Generation 2. Azure Data Lake Storage Generation 2 is a set of capabilities dedicated to big data analytics built on Azure Blob Storage. Data Lake Storage Gen 2 is the result of converging the capabilities of our two existing storage services, Azure Blob Storage and Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 1. Features from Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 1, such as file system semantics, directory, and file level security and scale are combined with low cost tiered storage, high availability disaster recovery capabilities from Azure Blob Storage. What is Azure Synapse Analytics? Azure Synapse is an integrated analytic service that can accelerate time to insight from all data at any scale across data warehouses and big data analytics system. It brings together the best of the SQL technologies used in enterprise data warehousing, spot technologies used in big data analytics, and pipelines for data integration and ETL and ELT. Azure Synapse comes with a web native studio user experience that provides a single experience and model for management, monitoring, coding, and security. Azure Synapse provides the simplest and fastest way for an enterprise to gather insights on any data at any size using the analytics that they are most familiar with. How can I schedule a pipeline? We can use the scheduler trigger or time window trigger to schedule a pipeline. Can I pass parameters to a pipeline run? As parameters are a first-class top-level concept in Data Factory. We discussed uh, what are the top-level concepts in Azure Data Factory. We discussed about parameters too. Parameters are key value pairs in a read-only configuration. We define parameters in a pipeline and we pass the arguments for the defined parameters during execution from a run context. The run context is created by a trigger or from a pipeline that we execute manually. Activities within the pipeline consume the parameter values. What is cop copy data tool in Azure Data Factory? The Azure Data Factory copy data tool eases and optimizes the process of ingesting data into a data lake, which is usually a first step in an end-to-end -end data integration scenario. It saves time, especially when you use Azure Data Factory to ingest data from a data source for the first time. Can an activity in a pipeline consume arguments that are passed to a pipeline run? Yes, each activity within the pipeline can consume the parameter value that is passed to the pipeline and run with the add parameter construct. What is the difference between mapping and wrangling data flow? A mapping data flows provide a way to transform data at scale without any coding required. We can design a data transformation job in the data flow canvas by constructing a series of transformations. 
start with any number of source transformations followed by data transformation steps. Complete your data flow with a sync to land your results in your destination. Mapping data flow is great at mapping and transforming data with both known and unknown schemas in the sinks and sources. Wrangling data flows allow you to do agile data preparation and exploration using the Power Query online mashup editor at scale via Spark execution. With the rise of data lakes, sometimes we just need to explore a data set or create a data set in the lake. We are not mapping to known target. Wrangling data flows are used for less formal and model-based analytics scenarios. We completed, in this session, we completed all sample interview questions about Azure Data Factory and ETL activities in Azure. If you have any questions, please post in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.